So out here in the frigid cold once again to give you guys a review on an awesome new mini drone. We're gonna take us through his paces. So let's not waste time. Let's go. All right, so thanks guys for stopping by. Really appreciate it, it's good to see you. So if this is your first time here, my name is Keith and this is Alien Drones. I do mostly tech, drones, photography, and FAA news. So if that's something that's up your alley, might wanna hit that subscribe. That'll let you know when there's some content that might be of interest to you. All right, so this new drone is the new HS360 from Holy Stone. It is a cool looking new mini drone. It's the newest one of their models they have. Has a articulating gimbal, a two axis gimbal, SD card, GPS, all the cool things that we like. It is only a 2K video, but a 4K camera. Now that seems to be something that the manufacturers are going for. I think DJI started that with the mini SE, uh, dropping the resolution a little bit to keep the price point lower. But the price point is really good, about $250, $270, something like that. I'll put the current price up here. It does, of course, have some of the built-in functions like uh, we're used to, like the orbit, the waypoints, and follow me. So we're going to test those as well. It says it has a range of about 3,000 feet, which we'll see if that's true or not. Not exactly sure uh, if it's going to go that far in the cold. Of course, the batteries will go dead uh, quicker than that because of the cold. So hopefully if we have uh, some issues with the gimbal, uh, the camera resolution might show it, but hopefully it's just from the cold. So we'll see how that goes. So we're going to go ahead and turn this drone on. It automatically does pair once you turn the remote and the control on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do the calibration. The calibration is a long press on the compass. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And the screen is telling me to rotate. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. Rotate horizontally. All right, we got a beep. So we're going to go ahead and do vertical. Should get another beep when the vertical's done. There we go, perfect. All right, now it's really important to go ahead and do the gyro calibration. We're gonna do just a quick short press on the calibration button. It is really quiet. I don't know if you can even hear it over here, but it is really whisper quiet. So we'll see how it is when it takes off here. Well, wow, that's a cute little bugger. So far, this thing is really stable, really quite nice. Thing is pretty stable even in the wind. And we do have about, uh, you know, eight or 10 mile an hour wind or so. So that's pretty good. So one thing I did notice is that the gimbal uh, wasn't perfectly a level with the horizon. And uh, I can usually take care of that in post, so I wasn't too worried about it because it was really stable. However, I did notice in the app that there is an adjustment uh, for that horizon adjust. So just to mention that if you do have that, uh, it is adjustable as well. Don't send it back for something like that. Uh, you can go ahead and adjust those. Uh, and I'll put it on the screen here so you can see what that looks like in the app, uh, just so you can see where it is as well. But I just wanted to throw that out there in case you run into that problem. All right, so let's go up and give this a fly. Oh, this is uh, really snappy. Now the last one we had from Holy Stone, we did have some GPS issues and boy, this looks pretty stable. Uh, this thing's sitting right there on GPS, no problem at all. Let's go ahead and uh, do a couple of the uh, functions. Uh, we're gonna start here with the orbit, uh, see what that does. And to do the orbit, I know we're supposed to go straight up above us and let it uh, circle around. So let's go ahead and do that. There we are, all right. So let's go ahead and do an orbit. All right, so the drone is going up here and now it's starting to rotate. And boy, look at that. Uh, it's got me in the uh, image pretty darn good here, I gotta say. 
Okay, and we've just hit our first uh, return to home. Should come back down here now. Here I am underneath it here, there we go. All right, and here we come down. Well, all right. Well, for a return to home on a low battery, that is one of the closest that I've had in a long time. That's about a, oh, maybe two and a half feet or so from the center. Uh, actually about a foot and a half off the pad itself. Uh, so for the GPS, again, for Holy Stone, uh, this is doing a pretty darn good job, I have to say. So we're gonna go ahead, pop a battery in, uh, see if we can do uh, follow me, and then we'll have enough battery. Hopefully we can do a range test. We'll see how it goes. Nice and stable. Does a good job. This is uh, really, really a nice one for Holy Stone. Really is dandy. All right, so there we are in the picture. Let's go ahead and do a uh, follow me here. All right, let's see if it keeps us in the picture. Here we go. All right, that baby's coming with me, no doubt. There we go, all right. That's what we like to see right there. There we go. And it is spinning around real nice, uh, keeping me in the picture here, so no problem there. We'll do a range test, see what this looks like here. I can see it over there, no problem. Let's see uh, how far we're out here. 170, 180 meters, so that's pretty good. And I can see it over there, it's a... Uh... There we go. Okay, it is still going, we're at 450 meters. Uh, it looks like I did lose uh, my video though. Uh, I can't see it anymore, even though the uh, drone is still connected and going out, it's still reading on my display here but i'm just at the point now where i don't really have visual lines that i can see it i know where it is but i would have a hard time with that so i think uh out at 500 meters here i think uh, it's time for me to uh, spin it around and see where i get my uh, visual back i'm gonna go ahead and just do a return to home on it let it do it automatically because i can't see i don't know which direction i'm going so i'm gonna go ahead and let it do a return to home from there see how it happens and it says the uh, height is going up. I can see it on the remote here. That's really nice. I'll uh, show you what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that uh, with the uh, sunlight here. Maybe I can turn it up a little bit, but uh, you can see here that it's up here now, 70 meters. That's where I have my return to home. And now you can see we're coming home 415, uh, 420. So indeed it is uh, coming up, uh, coming home. So. There we come. All right, so you can see where this thing came down. This is one of the closest uh, return to homes that I've had on drones, even more expensive ones in a long time. I mean, this thing was, uh, you know, it's hitting the edge of the pad uh, about a foot or foot and a half off the center. Fantastic. I mean, so Holy Stone, you did a really nice job. Obviously, you've listened, and uh, this thing is in really good shape here. So kudos to you. All right, so just a quick disclaimer. This is not meant to be a full tutorial on how to use this product. This is a review uh, to find out if the claims made by the manufacturer uh, actually hold true and the functions work and the drone actually performs because nobody wants to buy something that it says it's supposed to do certain things and it just doesn't work or it crashes all the time. So uh, as far as a review, uh, I think this has actually done a pretty good job uh, for the specs, what Holy Stone uh, says that it was supposed to do. And if I start mumbling, it's because my lips are frozen, so don't hold it against me. All right, so just a quick overview what's in the case here. Uh, it does come in a really nice case. Uh, it's kind of a hard case here, so that's always a bonus. I really do like those. Uh, in the case itself, it comes with two batteries, two full sets of props and extra screws for attaching them 
the remote, and the drone body itself, of course. So overall, as a package, uh, this is a pretty nice setup, a really a kit all-in-one kit. Now, of course, even though this isn't a full tutorial, if there is something that you guys want to see, you know, you want to see uh, some functions or some more detailed uh, on the setup or how to use it or something like that, let me know in the comments because maybe I'll bring this back and I'll do just a separate tutorial on how to use some of the things. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I'd be happy to entertain that. And of course, with that, don't forget to hit the like button if you found anything of value with this review. Of course, that's how this channel grows, and personally, I really do appreciate it. So with that, until next time and next video, good flying.